This is day two of the Coast to Coast, and Sean and I are starting in High Spirits, where we ended up yesterday in Keswick. So, as we're just leaving, uh, or starting to leave Keswick now, today's destination is Alston, which is about 42 miles away. It's a big day today, lots of hills. I'm already knackered, we've barely started the day. But uh, we went from sea level to nearly 200 meters of elevation. And it feels like five meters. <laughs> Been hiking and biking for a while now. But there's a reward at the top of this hill with this magnificent stone circle. So at least there's a, a reward at the end of this one. What a way to start your day. Hike it, bike it. For like two miles. <laughs> this is Castle Rig Stone Circle. This is the reward at the top of that mountain. What a panoramic viewpoint you've got from here, though. Okay, I do a lot of whining, but this was definitely worth the climb. What a view. Magnificent. Unfortunately, we've got a long day's ride ahead of us, so we can't stay here too long. Wow, this is amazing. Anyway, bring it on. So just crossed the five mile mark and spirits are oddly high <laughs> despite the fact that there's a lot of hiker bike but you can actually get rewarded with some quite good downhills so the time you lose on the way up you more than make for on the way down so five miles in just walked past a coffee roaster I'm a bit of a coffee fiend that was particularly nice so you have to have an instant this morning instead. Anyway, five miles in. Can't think of anywhere else I'd rather push a bike. for a view. Freewheeling down this. Look at this. Oh, sheep on the road. <laughs> Traffic's terrible around here. Hi, Jim. Right, we're just pulling past the 10 mile mark. Uh, right at the Sportsman's Inn, which is literally right on the uh, coast to coast route. Uh, we're just gonna get some fluid down us, some flapjack. It's worth a quarter of the way there, there, so it's gonna have about an hour and 45 minutes. It's gonna be a long day today, so these stops are gonna be a must. So I've had uh, some punishing climbs as I mentioned before, but the descents are getting better. 
so you're really making up the time. We're on uh, 25k now. A long day there. <laughs> We've just done that second 10 mile and super fast time. Quite a lot of downhill and yeah, it was an hour and a half to do the first 10 mile. So it was an hour to do the second one. So we're doing very well. Massive morale boost as well when you go downhill for a long time. Your legs get a recuperate. You get those miles in, which is why you want to on a big day like today. So we're going to stop at Penrith soon. Get some dinner. So we just popped into a pen right there for some uh, breaks because you know it's not Jordy. So we're going to let Penrith mark the halfway point, almost the halfway point. We should have another 20 odd mile to go. Anything like the second 20 mile. Second to ten, be all right. Take the first, we're knackered. <laughs> so, so, we had a punishing climb out of Penrith, really punishing. But we were rewarded by a quite spectacular downhill section, and it went on for a quite a while as well. Dismount and use pedestrian footpath. Got yeah, we've got the left. Just stop for a comfort break in uh, next to some cows. And they all think we're going to feed them. <laughs> Look at them ones, galloping over. Sorry guys, it's disappointing the other side. Oddly, you know, they are quite cute. I think cows are looking nice. Yeah. We just clicked over the uh, 30 mile mark. It's been a punishing, punishing 10 mile. But the views. More than make up for it. Hiya. Views are amazing. Breathtaking. Problem with the views is because they're all hills. We're going up the damn things all the time. And now downhill. It does hurt. <laughs> Just, just finished the uh, off-road part to Alston. Wow, that was hard. That was so much pushing, and it was even hard just pushing the bike. Uh, the heat is unreal right now, and we've got a long way to go. Do we get to the top as well? The punishing bit of climbing. The dreaded hard side pass. 
1,600 feet of climbing. I properly lost my sense of humour here. Relentless heat, no water, nothing left to do but push on. So right there. Summit of heart side. I'm dying. <laughs> it was so grueling that. I didn't film much because all you'd have saw is I was dying. The views are glorious. But for me that was hard going. Apparently it's a long descent now, which I'm very long forward to. Completely out of water as well, which is a bit of a shame. Right. We're about six miles away from the finish line for today. Come on. Right, so we've just got our hostel, we've uh, put our stuff up, had a shower, had some dinner, booked breakfast for tomorrow. Um, we're exhausted, absolutely bushed. It's not even half seven and I am literally going to go to bed. I am absolutely broken. Tomorrow though, we've got a quite a much lighter day. Today was 42 mile, tomorrow's only 30 mile. Um, and it's, yeah, Edmund Bayer. So I'm going to leave you there. Um, I'll see you tomorrow.